for when it's 1218. Let's start off with those morning lows. Not quite as chilly or brisk as they were yesterday morning, but still brisk enough. And we were still around five, maybe even up to 10 degrees below average in a couple of places. Burlington got down to 46, 42 in Plattsburgh, a low of 39 in St. J, 38 in Lebanon, and 37 in Springfield. So yeah, the blues you're seeing here were those 30 degree temperatures. A big chunk of our area was quite brisk, but we have improved drastically. That sun goes a long way. Same with a light south wind. Those factors here contributing to a really nice turnaround. 68 in Burlington right now, 65 degrees in Montpelier, 68 in Newport, 66 in Rutland, and even 67 degrees in Saranac Lake. Beautiful view from Whiteface. That's not usually uh, unusual. You've got some people enjoying the summit there and those thin, wispy clouds overhead. Those are cirrus clouds, and you'll find some of those in and out throughout the rest of the day, but it's so bright. That sun is still doing a great job of warming us up. You can see a few of those clouds showing up here on Storm Tracker, showing on your visible satellite, but other than that here, pretty quiet, and that's the case across the entire region some clouds and even some showers over the Great Lakes. We won't find any of that in our area for at least a few more days, and that's all thanks to a high pressure system bringing us this quiet weather, just like we've had for the last several days. It brings that warmer air too. In fact, by this afternoon, a few more degrees to go. 78 for South Pomfret this afternoon, 75 in Brandon, 74 degrees in Addison. Virgins will be near 60 or 77 rather 76 in Milton 66 in Jay a little cooler there 76 in Highgate though really just a beautiful afternoon when you factor in that sun and that light south wind and southwest wind around 5 to 10 miles per hour 73 Lake Placid 77 Port Henry as well as Keysville beautiful. Here are those wispy clouds in and out on future cast. Other than that here, lots of sunshine and that's why temperatures will continue to climb in the next uh, next couple of hours. Overnight tonight, a few clouds in and out just like we had early this morning and a little bit of those wispy ones like we have this afternoon. And that's the case not only tomorrow morning, but through the rest of the day too. So your Saturday is going to be just like today, dry, thin clouds, high clouds, but otherwise lots of sunshine and a lot more mild in the morning and in the afternoon temperatures will be above average. Sunday, more summer-like weather headed our way. It's gonna be another mild start and a dry one. A little bit more of that cloud cover moving through in the afternoon. Futurecast is picking up on a couple of those little spot showers on Sunday. That's gonna be ahead of that next system that finally brings us some changes. Most of these, again, I think are very light. If you get them at all, most of us will stay dry, but that does start to change on Monday morning. We have been dry all week. Couldn't stay that way. We do have the rain arriving again on Monday morning. So here it is showing up on future cast Monday morning on and off through the day and all the way through Tuesday morning is when the best chance for any of that rain will be. Again, we're still several days away from that. We have a really nice weekend ahead of us, so enjoy it. And like I mentioned, it's going to be very summer like. In fact, the last weekend of summer are going to feel like it, but then the first day of fall feels like fall. We're going to dip temperatures a little bit. By Tuesday, we're only in the 60s, seasonable and dry on Wednesday before a few more showers Thursday. David.